Hi, my name is George Matson, and I'd like to give you a brief tour of the all-new waitsyroo.com website. Make sure when you log in, you spell the name correctly, uechi-ryu.com. All right, now the first thing you have to do is find out if, in fact, your old registration from the old website is still current. And you can do that by simply going to the login area and uh, I'm going to log out here. All right. And type in the your old username and your old password and try logging in. If it says that it's not uh, accepted, then you will have to register again. It's a very simple process. Click here and uh, follow the instructions. Your new username and a temporary password will be sent to you. Now, the first thing you have to do when you get that is to email me and ask me to uh, give you administrative privileges to be an author for the website. This will allow you to write articles that will be published directly to the website. You don't have to send them to me any longer and uh, have me do that work. Uh, I will have to approve them, however, and I'll show you. It's a very simple process. Anyway, after you get your new username and password, simply type it in here. Now, I've gone through the process and I set up a temporary one for me and I'll show you how that works. All right, I used test gem and my password. All right, and if you want the program to remember you, don't forget to click on the little icon there. All right, so I'm going to log in. Once I log in, you'll be going to the website, but this time if you scroll down, you'll see your username here and uh, you'll see my profile uh, will be added to the menu. Uh, before we go here, I just want to briefly go over the some of the, the new uh, features of our website. Uh, there's a whole new menu up here and also on the left, the main menu. And wherever there's a, an arrow uh, in the category section, there are subcategories. So this uh, it, it just allows a little little neater uh, table of contents. So whenever you see one of these little arrows, click. Uh, all you do is just r run your cursor over it, and it will open up the whole menu. Okay. Now, going back to going down to your username, click on My Profile. This takes you to the dashboard. And once the dashboard is opened, and, and by the way, when you, uh, after you've registered, and if you want to change your password, uh, why don't you do it at this point? And what you do here is uh, please put your, your real first name and last name in here, and then scroll down. And this is where you would add the new password. All right. And once that's been done, click Update Profile. Now, to write articles, once you get into the dashboard, a new menu will open up here on the top frame. And uh, you can create a new post or you can add pictures to uh, a gallery. And you can actually create your own galleries by typing on here, or excuse me, clicking on here. But for today, all we're going to do is teach you how to create a new post. Click on it. That opens up a new post menu. First thing you do, type in a title. Title of article. Okay. And type your article. All right. And at this point, you go over to the right frame and you scroll down to the categories and you select the categories that best represent what your article is all about. If it's an article of interest, 
and you're not one of the five individuals named here, you can click on Submit It by Other Authors. And again, you go down here in case there's any other categories or subcategories that you wish to click on. Once you've completed that, go back up to the top and click Publish. Now, clicking on Publish, all that does is it, it puts it in memory. And at that point, you want to submit the article for review. Click on it. And at that point, the article is in memory, and it's waiting for me to come online and uh, approve it. Now, if you want to see what your article will look like, once it's published, click on Preview. And there you go, right here. This is your article. All right, now as an author, you can also click on Submit Comments to any articles that are uh, published on the website. And we're going to go back to the home. You'll notice your article is not on the home page. And in many cases, your articles will not be published on the home page, but it will be published in a category that best suits uh, that particular topic that you're covering, whether it's a seminar or activity, a tournament, uh, or whatever. If it's just simply an article of interest, people can come down here and they can click on Submitted by Other Articles, and your article will be right up on top until someone writes one after you. All right, if you have any questions, please send me an email. And meanwhile, we'll see you on the website.